A blessed day to all of you, blessed feast of St. Joseph for all of us, especially the devotees of St. Joseph, and greetings also to our fellow worshippers in other parts of the world. In the history of the celebration of, and devotion to St. Joseph, we find that uh, it emerged rather late in history. It was only in the 10th century when uh, several uh, Western countries started to celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, unlike the Feast of our Blessed Mother, very soon, no, in the second, third century, we find already the celebrations of her feast. But St. Joseph only in the 10th century. And it would become an official celebration, official uh, practice of the church, only in the 1500s. Large celebrations of his feast are particularly popular in uh, Italy, especially in the town of Sicily in the southern part, to which St. Joseph is the faith patron saint. And afterwards, we see the, the boom of these celebrations or a greater appreciation of the role of St. Joseph in our faith. That's why so many dioceses, congregations, communities are now uh, named after St. Joseph. Last year, Pope Francis declared it as the year of St. Joseph to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the saint's uh, proclamation as patron of the Universal Church. And thanks to this, that uh, we see a greater awareness and appreciation and devotion to St. Joseph. Only also lately that we have the inclusion of his name in the uh, Eucharistic prayer. Now, in the 1960s, Pope John XXIII added his name in the list of saints if we pray the, the so-called first Eucharistic prayer. And only Pope Francis added his name in the Eucharistic prayers of the, the other Eucharistic prayers. Thanks to this greater awareness of uh, an appreciation to St. Joseph. It is true that there are very few information about uh, St. Joseph that we find it in the Holy Scriptures. Probably this was one of the reasons why it was not given attention to in the early centuries because very little about uh, St. Joseph we find in the Holy Scriptures. In fact, the Gospel accounts, we do not find any record at all of not even a single word recorded in the Gospel. As one author says that St. Uh, Joseph's language is peaceful and compliant silence. He might not have spoken a word and very little we know about him. In fact, there are so many ideas that he was an old man when he married Mary. So he disappeared very soon in the life of Jesus and Mary, etc. But certainly we have an insight of uh, Jesus, of Joseph's character by looking at Jesus himself, whom he he had cared and reared as his son. 
Jesus must have learned and imbibed the values from his parents, Mary and Joseph, as the song in Tagalog, Mana Mana Lang Yan. I think it was uh, sung by uh, Gary Granada. No? That kung ano ang pinagmulan, no? kung ano ay yung puno, ganun din yung bunga. No? Meaning the, uh, that we can learn and may have an insight of who Joseph is by looking at Jesus himself, the son. The gospel says that Joseph was a just man, a just person, who thought of the good and well-paid of Mary when she was found pregnant before their living together. Instead of bringing her before the law, which was his right to vindicate his honor, he chose to secretly divorce her, and in doing so, Mary could be protected from shame, scandal, and violence. He did not think of himself, but before, but for the good of the other person. We see here the same character of Jesus himself during his ministry, especially in dealing with the so-called sinners and outcasts of society. He emphasized the good of the human person instead of the laws and the traditions like that of the law of the Sabbath. Jesus must have learned in some way, sense from the compassionate and just attitude of Joseph and Mary. As we celebrate St. Joseph's feast, we are reminded of the crucial role of parents in upbringing the good, I mean, good persons and good citizens. While it is true that parents are parents to their children up to a certain point, for, for they are not clone of their parents, for children have their own free will to shape their lives, but it is also true that the fundamental values of persons are learned in the family from their parents. We ask then the Lord that through the example of Saint Joseph and Mary and their prayers, parents may, may be helped in their crucial role of forming good persons and followers of Christ. And uh, we, as we pray, as we celebrate this feast of uh, St. Joseph, we pray for the universal church that may his intercession help our church move forward in his, her mission to proclaim the good news. The logic, I think, of the of the church, the thinking of the church here is that just as Joseph had taken care of very well of his son, Jesus, he will take care also of the church of his son. You know, just a, an anecdote or a, a personal experience here in the shrine, at the start of the pandemic, there was the, the first cases when there were no vaccines yet. And uh, a family of a close collaborators of the shrine got infected and we were so fearful of you know, some of our, our uh, people here were exposed also. I remember that when I got the news, it was a Sunday, 
And uh, beside my uh, my bed is a statue of Joseph, the sleeping Joseph. And I remember praying to him, no, to Saint Joseph, please take care of our uh, our collaborators of our shrine. And I made a promise, no. If they will get well, we will start. I will start the devotion every Wednesday to you no, to propagate your devotion. No. And through now, thanks, of course, from the grace of God and through the intercession of St. Joseph, the, the family recovered and very happy that that time that there were no... Uh, uh, vaccines yet and so we started right away that next Saturday uh, Wednesday and every Wednesday now that we have the devotion here to Jesus uh, to uh, Joseph Saint Joseph and also part of the uh, the prayer to him is just as you have taken care of your son Saint Joseph please take care also of the church the shrine of your son and uh, in all these months of the pandemic, God has blessed us through the intercession of St. Joseph and our upkeep in the shrine never failed. And thanks to him, thanks to his uh, uh, intercession for, for us. A short uh, note of our own experience of our devotion here in the shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, to Saint Joseph. Dear friends, as I've said, that must be, must have been the thinking of the church. If Joseph had taken care of his family very well, he will take care also the followers of his son may saint joseph intercede for all of us the the universal church our communities our families saint joseph pray for us